As an electronic designer, you're challenged with combining numerous components, including fans, heat sinks, and heat pipes, to create systems that meet performance goals and space requirements, all while keeping costs low. In this design, there is a processor that cannot exceed 70 degrees Celsius. It is bonded to a heat pipe, which in turn is cooled by a fan. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation and the Electronic Cooling Module can help determine the best design that meets your goals. You can start by analyzing the current design. Using an intuitive interface, you accurately define the heat generation properties of the processor. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation delivers a comprehensive library of predefined processors and semiconductors. Here you may select a two-resistor component and simply specify the heat it generates. It is also easy to define how heat is transferred between components. The library contains interface materials such as conductive bonding paste. You can always define the thermal contact resistance in an accurate manner. Fans can be defined using two different methods. You can use the library of predefined fans, or if the flow rate of the fan is known, simply specify this value at the exit of the fan. Likewise, heat pipes of any shape can also be precisely described. In fact, with the electronic cooling module, there are vast libraries and tool sets to help describe the thermal properties of IC packages, thermoelectric coolers, and even multi-layer PC boards. Solving is quick, and SOLIDWORKS Flow provides a wide array of tools to allow you to understand the performance of your design from the section, surface plots, and flow trajectories to numerical results, you can easily validate whether your goals are met. In this instance, you can see that the processor temperature exceeds the goal of 70 degrees Celsius. With 10 fins, you simply are not dissipating enough heat. With the section plot animation, you can see that the maximum temperature is around the processor as expected. In fact, you can pick any body and find the exact numerical results you desire, such as the maximum and minimum temperature. You can compare the performance of a different design. This design has a heat sink with 50 fins. Notice that the study is similar to the previous configuration. With SOLIDWORKS flow simulation, the parameters and values can be simply copied between studies so setup is fast and consistent. Here, the peak temperature is about 63 degrees Celsius, which is a lot better, and the design goal has been met. But is this the optimum design? SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation can give you the answer. All you need to do is specify a range over which to evaluate the number of fins, as well as the design goal. In this case, the desired maximum temperature of the processor. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation quickly reveals your optimum solution is a heat sink with 29 fins. The peak temperature is now 69 degrees Celsius. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation with its electronic cooling module empowers you to analyze different design configurations easily, all within the SOLIDWORKS environment. You easily can test and optimize your electronic components early in the design process reducing both the number of prototypes and the costs of physical testing, while accelerating innovation. For more information, please contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller or visit our website.